around all of Africa, this is one of the first and the finest flagships to be rolled out of a factory. It has bewildering off-road capabilities, a 360-degree camera view with front and rear parking sensors, and it even has a very thoughtful feature that helps you to keep the wind in and the heat out when the car is parked. You see, at a running cost of 75.5 million naira, this car was built for the business executives and all of those really important folks. Introducing to you guys the first of its kind rolled out from a very indigenous Nigerian factory. This is the beautiful Nord Demir. given us something for the creme de la creme of the society. I mean, the very rich folks, the business executives, and we may potentially not see some of those SUVs that we see very common with these folks. With the introduction of the beautiful Nord de Mer, and right here what we have is an SUV that has an amazing stance, a very interesting and yet familiar design, and a whole lot of features. So yes, with all of the chrome that we can see right here in the front, especially on the six spoke wheel with the Nord emblem, we're reminded that this this is not just any SUV, but one that actually fits the luxury flagship status. We get more chrome down there on the intakes and just this gives the SUV a very interesting presence. We also have a number of front parking sensors, thus having the beautiful parking assist system, which just makes driving a whole lot easier for people. Interestingly, we get by LED headlamps with daytime running lamps and beautiful fog lamps down there that are super bright and very beautiful to see. Over here we get rain sensing windshield wipers that are actually really cool and here we have our tires that are in 50-50 ratio so 50 for road and 50 for off-road performance and wrapped in there are beautiful 18 inch alloy rims. The feedback that these tires give you are befitting of an SUV of this standard. Moving further we get power folding heated side mirrors with side indicators add more cameras for the 360 degree camera system. These running boards that extend from the front to the rear and are lit in the dark and here we have an entire length that is super long super wide and enough ground clearance i'm talking 220 millimeters that is just enough to wade through the harsh road conditions of our african terrains and even through floods moving further to the back we get this really nice hook where you can actually attach a beautiful camping van or camping trailer and go on that beautiful trip that you've always wanted to so yes you get a flagship suv that actually can do it all speaking of doing it all we have a double door that actually anchors you into all of this space that actually is what we call the cargo area. So this cargo area has so much space, you can actually fit in a third row and still get decent amount of room in here. Or better still, you know, I would really just love if these rear seats were pushed back a little bit to give you more leg room and you're super comfortable. And this is not just any flagship, but I'm talking my back GLS 600 level type shape. You see this beautiful executive mobile here is powered by a four liter naturally aspirated V8 engine that's mated to an automatic transmission. Now when it comes to the fueling options you get to, you get the single fuel option, which is powered or which utilizes just petrol. And you get the one or the dual fuel option that uses both petrol and CNG. Together this puts out 268 horsepower, sending power to the four wheels through a front wheel bias four by four drivetrain. You see, the cabin has a very familiar yet simple design. What we have here is a cabin that comprises of good leather, some plastic, and well, we get wood trim and some chrome on the air vents, which is very beautiful. Here on the pilot side, of course, we get the gauge cluster that is analog and digital. We have a multifunctional steering wheel that utilizes the hydraulic system, which is cheaper and easier to maintain. But the electric one, you know, is just more modern and a whole lot easier to use. 
when it comes to the seating comfort, of course you get leather seats that power control. They are heated, but they are not ventilated. And the leather is not that soft plush type leather that we find in the very luxurious flagship SUVs. Nah, this one is something more subtle and comfortable, just like I mentioned earlier. You also get a whole lot of safety and technology features. In fact, the standard ones you find and the cars that are built by the developers or the manufacturers that have been there for decades and decades of years. In the case of utility, of course, we get this beautiful 10-inch infotainment screen that is Bluetooth compatible and has wireless Apple CarPlay, which is very beautiful. You also get lots of buttons to control other features, including the automatic climate zone controls, on which you get two, one in the front and one at the back. Here we get a number of buttons to control the driving modes and the off-road controls and here we get some storage, more storage in the glove compartment and just like in every other car, we get more storage for bottles and minor stuff in the door pockets. In the second row, which should actually be the executive position or the executive row, you get a good amount of storage and room, so you get a decent amount of new room. Well, good amount of headroom for someone of my height. Then we get these dual rear entertainment screens for your entertainment and for your comfort. These beautiful leather seats are heated, but they're not ventilated. You also get more climate zone controls and two to 20 volt sockets. Beautiful air vents here for the second row and what should actually be the third row, but it's the trunk area. And well, yes, you also get six speaker audio system, good amount of view right at the back here and the sitting and riding comforts are on par. In terms of features, what you get in this SUV are features that are standard in every car you see on the road, which actually makes this one very beautiful SUV to own and drive. And when it comes to the braking power, we get beautiful disc brakes. And in terms of the suspensions and the road feedback, I mean, this dampens a whole lot of road feedback and road harshness because what we have are beautiful double wishbone suspensions in the front and multi-link suspensions in the rear. So like I said, the driving, the comfort is beautiful. Now, you might get some body roll because this is, well, an off-road SUV and you have to trade in one for one. You can get sporty suspensions that handle amazingly. Now, well, the engine, the powertrain doesn't pack a punch, but you do get good amount of power or decent amount of power. And the size of this SUV weighing at 2.5 tons is pretty light for an SUV of this size. So it actually is fun to drive. Have some semblance with the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. I mean, in character, in stance, and even in build quality, you might compare or you might feel that this is very familiar to that. However, this is way longer and wider than the Toyota LC 200. You may also think that this will be better. However, I think that this is just a step in the right direction. But anyway, I want you to let me know in the comments, for the price point of 75.5 billion Naira, do you think that the beautiful Nord Demir is worth competing in the world's class of flagship SUVs? Thank you so much guys for sticking with me up until this extent. If you haven't yet, please do want to subscribe to the video, like, share it, and I'll see you in the very next episode.